Would I take this $50 violin with me to Carnegie Hall? Well, I'm going to talk about that in this video. The answer is not so simple. Hey guys, my name is Asher, welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to talk about this violin which was sent to me by Larry Music, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how you can win it. Alright, so let's get to it. I'm going to hand this over to the bearded version of me. Just taking a look at these two cases, they are both um, kind of soft, but they, they do the job, and they're compact, they attach, they're very portable, they attach to your back really easily, so if you're on a plane or you, you just easily need to transport them, it's perfect for um, mobility, and it zippers like this on both ends, and you can fit some sheet music and other accoutrements right over here. That slip back there, so it's pretty, it's a pretty cool case. Now opening up the case, there's uh, there's two locations for two bows. This came with one, and I received more than I expected. This uh, sheath just protects the violin. There's a the violin itself. Nice piece of wood, actually. I tuned it already. Four strings already on it. They came with a full set of four more strings, in case you pop anything. And the shoulder rest, which I'm gonna attach right now. It's a nice shoulder rest that does the job. design of the inside of the violin case and just just a little uh, just to be completely transparent I'm not a violin luthier so I don't build violins um, but I've been playing violin throughout my entire life so I can I'm evaluating it from the vantage point of a performer but not a somebody who works in the shop this comes along with a um, this little piece of rosin and the purpose of the rosin, those of you who don't know, is to create friction with the bow. So you run it up and down the bow. It took me a while to actually rosin this piece. Um, you need some patience, good 10 minutes for me. Um, but after I did that, it, it produced some, started to produce a, a decent tone on the violin itself. So, and then here's one last piece I thought was pretty cool. This is a uh, tuning pipe. So, 4G. It's a G string. D string. A string. E string. E string. So, it's in tune. I've tuned it. This, this I thought this was pretty cool. This um, violin viola anatomy. Getting started, violin bridge, information, uh, slightly loosen the, the string and slide the bridge under the string. Basically shows you how to position the bridge underneath the strings. So that's pretty helpful for anybody who's a student. I rub the rosin across the bow here in order to get friction so that I can make a tone, out, uh, produce a tone from the violin. The tuning, there's a section on tuning maintaining the instrument and controlling the humidity. So this is all very useful for anybody who wants to maintain and use the violin properly. There's also some desiccant, some stuff to help reduce the humidity, silica in the violin case. And now let's get to the actual violin itself and its, its sound. So just judging by the look, just looking at uh, looking at the outside here superficially, I would say that it's a it's a very nice design. It's kind of a it's a pretty piece of wood, and it looks really smooth. And it looks like they put a decent amount of care and uh, craftsmanship into the pegs and the fingerboard. Now, a couple things that I noticed are the the bridge. Proximity to the fingerboard, bridge is a bit high, and it's a bit thick. 
So that could pose a little bit of a, an obstacle in getting an ideal classical tone. Not a biggie if you're a student violinist and you're not playing a Car Carnegie Hall, just something to consider. It's not so and it is something that you can correct very easily. You can replace it with a bridge that's a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner. Another thing to consider is the height of the thing, fingerboard towards the end, towards the pegs right over here. It's a little bit high and the action as a result of this end, the nut and the bridge is a little bit high and could reduce the quality of the tone. So that's something that can also be addressed by a violin luthier. So you could purchase this and still get a really great tone out of it. Another thing to consider is if you're not totally happy with the sound, with these strings, there are, there are other strings that are available out there that would improve the resonance and the sound quality of the violin. So if you're not immediately happy with the, the, the sound of the violin, don't give it up, don't throw it in the trash. It's still a good piece. And if you look at this bow over here, it's really nice. It's a pretty bow and it's, it matches the violin. They put a decent amount of care into this. Let's give it a shot. So the pegs move pretty easily, pretty con they're pretty conveniently placed. And it's got some nice resonance, some uh, nice re natural reverb in the wood. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty impressive considering the cost of this. The fact that I'm getting all, all these other um, additional accessories and the full case, it's pretty cool. Um, so it does not, doesn't sound like a, a full-fledged pro violin and that could very well be because of the height of the bridge and the nut which could be again addressed so again i'm not telling you this this violin can't really kick butt and give you do a great job um you know you're playing some complex concerto just as it stands right now it needs a little bit of work with regards to the height and the thickness of the bridge and the nut as well but i i can still practice with it So it confirms pretty much what I was saying. It's a, it's a solid student violin, does the job. Um, I wouldn't take this to Carnegie Hall with me in the state that it's in now. And that being said, maybe I could if I replaced the bridge and the nut uh, was readjusted and the strings. And perhaps I could try a, a higher end bow. It may not be, the bow may be fine, uh, but give it a shot. Um, and bring it to a luthier, maybe readjust that, those two elements that I mentioned, and you got yourself a fine instrument. There you go. So I did, I, I did a little review on this, this um, wood violin, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to use the same bow because it's already rosin, with this funky looking, beautiful instrument that actually I signed and I'm giving it away comes with the same, this other violin that comes with, it's probably a generic um, packaging for Glary Music. It comes with the, the pamphlet on both sides, like I mentioned, the strings, the pipes, AEDG, corresponding to the AEDG strings on the violin. Beautiful interior to the case. It's not a hard case but it's great for a student violin, very light, very compact, very mobile. So the bridge,
stage, I can tell you, is a little more appropriate for this violin, so it's a little easier to play. The action's lower. Um, the nut is a little bit lower. I think a couple of adjustments could be made to this instrument as well that could make it sound even better, uh, beginning with perhaps the strings. So if you take a look at this violin, it's beautiful. It's really a nice piece. They put a lot of, they put a decent amount of care into it and and uh, I, it's, if you're a student, definitely give it a shot. It does the job and it's great for practicing and might be great for a performance if you could you could make a couple of adjustments like I mentioned with this violin. So that's my review of these two Glary music violins. Please take a look at the links below in the, com in the description, the captions description of, of this video, which will direct you to the, these violins on the Glary Music website. I want to thank Glary Music for uh, sending me these instruments. I hope you enjoyed this review. And now I'm going to tell you how to win this violin. So you'll see a link below, which will direct you to the contest page. It's in gleam.io. And there's a whole series of actions you can do, such as liking my Facebook page, Instagram, sharing a post from my Twitter page, whatever you want to do. You can do none of them or one of them or as many of them as you'd like. Um, and the more activities you do, the more points you accumulate and the higher and the greater chances you have of winning this instrument. All the details are in the app, and I look forward to choosing the winner. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.